Yo, New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Why don't we go to From New York City, you are now tuned into NYYNews.com radio with your host, NYY News Felix, for the latest New York Yankees news and rumors. New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Let's do this live now. Obviously, it's pre-recorded, but let's try something new here. So we all know our favorite team, the New York Spankies, got spanked. They didn't show up. They haven't really shown up, though. We all know the second half of the season, everything fell apart. But, you know getting manhandled by the usual suspects, the Astros. So let's get over what I my my predictions. What I believe the Yankees are gonna do, who is going to get fired, who the Yankees might sign, who they might trade, etc. So first things first. I think the Yankees are going to finally part ways with Aaron Boone. I honestly believe that. And I do believe that Brian Cashman is going to stay the GM of the New York Yankees. That as well. So, I know a lot of people, a lot of fans, don't want Cashman back. I know for a fact a lot of fans don't want Boone back. I mean, when I saw that the Yankees had a mental coach or something like that, where he was going around showing the Yankees, the Boston Red Sox comeback of 2004, which was kind of laughable. At that point, the Red Sox were literally the Yankees' bitch. There was, like, history there. There was, like, over 80 years there, almost 100 of the Red Sox losing. So you can't compare if the Yankees were going to come back to the 2004 Red Sox. That was kind of laughable. So I think Boone at this point is going to be the scapegoat because we all know Brian Cashman has been making horrific choices in trades, and not signing players. And I think that the heat is so much on Cashman now that somebody is going to be the scapegoat, and that scapegoat is going to be Boone. So let's check out. That's the wonderful site, m1news.com. Stays, uh, as you can see here, stat leaders Aaron Judge was there since the beginning. I never had to change that picture. Even Esther Cortez as well. So let's see what uh, people on Twitter are saying. My boy P. Samanini, I was just on his podcast, Designated Spitters, which I renamed to Designated Scumbags. We are the Designated Scumbags now. You could address us as that. Dave Poitnoy... Uh, it's honestly hard to believe what a joke the once proud New York Yankees have become. These guys are all from Boston, but live in New York City just as that Caribbean guy. Uh, Yankees haters, but Boston Red Sox fans, but live in New York City. If they are both back, fire cash and fire boom, that's the tweet. If they are both back, don't expect much. The days of Yankees greatness is fading away with these fools. And I sort of agree with that. But I will say that Brian Cashman is going to come back with a vendetta. We might even see him sign Carlos Correa. We might see him, I don't know if they, how they're going to trade Donaldson, but we might see a situation where they actually sign Carlos Correa. He opts out of his contract, and the Yankees plug him over there at third and have Peraza start up as your shortstop. I don't know if Volpe... Needs more time to develop, but that sounds about right. So, let's see what else. 
let's just uh, type in Yankees. Let's see what the fans are ranting about. These are the. Let, let's see what Pedro had to say. New York. <laughs> Who's your daddy now? <laughs> I just want to know. I want an Astros answer, and Yankees I want it quick. New York. Who's your daddy? New York. Should I say daddy? the Astros? So let's just browse real quick. We might see some rated R content because this is live. And, you know, people type in Yankees. But, um, yeah, the typical. I mean, I have to scroll hours. But, yeah, Yankees Twitter is going crazy right now. Let's see what the top accounts are saying. Yankees fans right now, stop giving me your toughest battles. You said you wanted Houston. Yeah, th these are just kids that don't know any better when they chant that stuff. Even though, good luck with, uh, by the way, uh, Astros fans, good luck with Phillies fans. <laughs> you thought you think New York fans are bad. You have your uh, work cut out for you right there. But I guess you guys are used to uh, Philly fans since uh, the Astros used to be a National League team. And in my opinion, they should have stayed in the National League. You're going to have two uh, Texas uh, teams in the AL. Bring the Brewers back. Bring the Brewers back to the AL. Trade places. Astros, go back to the NL, please. For the love of God. So, yeah. I think the Yankees have a chance. I think Cashman is going to come back with uh, Vendetta and just sign a whole bunch of players, trade a whole bunch of players. I don't know what they're going to do with Judge. Let's see the roster. This is the most disappointing player, in my opinion. Obviously, he has shown up in the playoffs here and there, but... Look at these numbers. He's always on the IL. We brought him in here specifically to beat teams like Houston, beat teams like the Red Sox. And just look at these numbers. If Judge leaves, you're going to be looking at maybe 40 home runs and trips to the IL from Stanton. So in my opinion, the Yankees can move him. You move him. I mean, that was the whole point of trading for the guy. Look at these articles with Aaron Judge resign with the Yankees and free agency. He certainly wants to be a Yankee, but in my opinion, once he gets back home in California, gets comfortable there, it's going to be hard, hard to resign Judge. But who knows? How is Steinbrenner lucky he can't be fired for Yankees' repeated failures? Like I said, the heat is on, and the scapegoat is going to be your boy, Aaron Boone. That's just my opinion at this point. I don't know what F Fetterman trolls alls on his dark past as a Yankees fan. I don't get too much into politics, but what does sports and politics have anything to do with people's daily lives? So I've seen this Fetterman guy talking about the Eagles, now the, the Phillies, and nobody cares about that. Let's talk about policies. I, I, I don't want to be political, but sports has nothing to do with uh, politics. People want to know where you politically stand. But I understand they're politicians. Little Dominican Republic. New York, New York. Live from Washington Heights. It is NYY News Felix now on the Designated Scumbag Podcast with his co-host, Pete the Scumbag Salmonetti. So yeah, Yankees lose, ALCS, blah, blah, blah. I actually took a nap half during half of that uh, game. Then I woke up around 12 and they were still playing. So I was having nightmares of what the scenario was going to be. And, you know, it came true. The Yankees lost, uh, being manhandled by the Houston Astros. Let's play the... What is these recommendations here? Anyways, let's play Pedro Martinez again. Yes, for all of New York. Yes. New York. 
Who's your daddy now? <laughs> I just want to know. I want an answer, that. and I want it quick. New York, who's your daddy? Should I say the Astros? Yeah, it's not Big Papi anymore. It's not me. They're our daddy. Who's your daddy? I want In other teams, maybe the... Uh, Phillies are going to find, obviously teams find a way to beat the Astros. They haven't won a World Series since 2017. But the Yankees just can't figure them out. I don't know if it's a New York-Houston thing where, you know, it's kind of like the Knicks thing where teams come to New York and they just want to beat New York. They could be the most horrific team. They just come to New York and just beat New York teams. But that shouldn't be happening with the New York Yankees. The Yankees should be uh, manhandling the, uh, these other teams. So again, uh, I know this is gonna piss up, piss off a lot of people. Our catching, our catchers, we didn't get a lot of pop from them. We didn't get a lot of offense from them. A lot of people are gonna get mad at me for saying this. I think if I were the Yankees, I'll take a look at Gary Sanchez. I know he's trash defensively, but you know, offensively, I think uh, Gary Sanchez is entering the prime of his career. I know he's getting up there in his thirties. Uh, I forget how old he is. But people in general uh, are in their primes in their early 30s. So if the, I were the Yankees, I'll take a look, good look at Gary Sanchez. I know I'm going to get a lot of comments off of that, but I'll take a good look at Gary Sanchez. We needed another slugger in that non lineup. Obviously, Josh Donaldson is $25 million per season. Didn't show up. That was a horrific trade to begin with. The, the whole nightmare IKF that got just get rid of him um, trade Montas as well if you can get rid of him but knowing the Yankees they're gonna uh, keep uh, on him because uh, Brian Cashman doesn't like to uh, admit when he does uh, lousy trades and plus so that's just an arm that you know we have an arm that could be supposedly an ace so they'll probably keep him uh the closer situation bullpen Yankees have to restructure that as well Rizzo does he come back I think Rizzo is going to follow Judge because he does have an opt out wherever uh, Judge signs so I think he structured his contract just like that because him and Judge are best friends so if he leaves uh, you know I don't know man Yankees I, I think Cashman I have a feeling Cashman is has a vendetta He's going to come out uh, making trades, uh, signing players. I think the Yankees are going to spend big money this offseason. So the only positive from the Yankees always getting their asses handed to them by the Astros is a repeating cycle now. I know they can't take it anymore. I think the Yankees are going to go out there and go ham. You're going to see the Yankees in headlines here and left and right. So that's my predictions. Aaron Boone gets the boot. Uh, you're going to see a lot of trades, a lot of restructuring of this whole team completely from pitching, offense, defense, bullpen, uh, coaches, everywhere. It's going to be a restructure of the New York Yankees. And like I said, you might see Carlos Correa finally a Yankee. I don't know if you guys want him uh, any more <laughs> or more, but, you know, Yankees are going to spend money. Do they re-sign Judge? I don't know. All these California teams are going to show him the money. Obviously, he's from California. And, hey, they're giving you the bank, and you get to stay close to where you live. Why not take it? So this has been my little rant here. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, this has been Felix from mm1news.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Thank you.